Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and in this Typo3 tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate some tips and tricks for working with List View in Typo3. On the screen here, we have the Great Widgets website, that's our demonstration site, and it has the News Module, which is a List View set of documents that we're going to work with. So let me switch to the back end, and here's the home page again in the back end. To access those news articles, I'm going to switch to List View, and I'm going to click on the News Articles folder and you can see the titles of the news articles. Actually, at the top of the folder here, we have the news articles, and at the bottom, we have the news categories. By default, this will show, I believe, 20 articles at one time, uh, uh, though if we want to see more, we can actually drill into it and see up to 100 articles at a time. Drilling into it actually shows us just the one table. If I scroll to the bottom, you won't see the uh, news categories anymore. Now the first thing I want to do is turn on the control icons, the edit pencil, delete button, etc. So to do that all I'm going to do is tick this extended view tick box here. The page will refresh and now we can see our control icons, edit pencil, trash can, hide button, copy paste, etc. Now the second thing I want to do is in my list here I also want to see the uh, categories that the news articles belong to. So you'll notice after we drilled into the news article table, we also got this field picker down the bottom. And if I want to show category, all I need to do is click category and click set fields. Again, the page will refresh and we now have the category uh, showing up as a, a, an additional column on the page. Some of these don't have categories and it just shows an A for not applicable. We're running out of room a little bit here, so to make some more room, I'm going to shrink down the page tree. So to do that, I can either grab the edge and just kind of slide across uh, or I can hit this little uh, close handle here, which will just shrink it down altogether. There, now we can just see the news articles. If I want to get the page tree back, it's just a matter of reversing what I just did, basically. So, now that we have news uh, categories showing up, I can also turn on additional fields as well. Um, you can have as many of these on as you want, or as many as space will allow. To put other fields on, all you do is hold your control button on a PC. I think it's option or command on a Mac and select the additional fields you might like. So I've selected that, I click set fields and the page will refresh and now we see that as well. Now that we have them in this view, notice a pencil has shown up next, next to each of the columns. What that would allow you to do is load up that single field from every record and edit them all at once. So for example, if I needed to add um, a bunch of categories. Maybe I want to add a new category to every single record. Well, I can either go into each and every news item and add that category, or I can click my category pencil here, and it's going to load up just the category field from each and every news article. So you can see we see the title of the news article, and we see its category field. So let's, for example, add plain old news to every single category. You can see as I click it, it's popping over to the area on the left there under selected items. So this one's already in plain old news. Let's add that one, uh, that one, and that one. Well, I won't do them all, but you, you get the idea. Once I've added it to the ones I want, I'm just going to hit my save and close button, and it will take me out to the previous screen. Uh, so that will work with every single category. If you needed to make a change to every single page title, or um, if there was some other field that we wanted to make a sort of a global change to, we could do it that way. Also, very, very handy. Last tip I'm going to show is exporting this. Maybe I want to put this list into a spreadsheet, a CSV file. Uh, we have this button here at the top of the screen that says CSV, which will export all of these fields into a spreadsheet. Um, so if there were other fields, we'd tick them and turn them on. Um, and then just push this button, and what it will then do is ask me if I want to open or save that file. And if I click OK, it will pop it into Excel for me. And it's just popped up on my other screen here. Let me bring it over and make it fit the window. And uh, there you go. You can see that we have the titles of the articles, the categories that belong to, and the timestamp. That's all the fields that are shown up here. And again, you can select as many of those as you want. So there you go. There's a few quick tips and tricks for working with List View. That applies to any module, whether it's the news, frequently asked questions, products, uh, etc. Thank you.